we no longer have a Cressida Dick, but we don't know who it's who it's going to be. So from your interactions with the Met, what are the what are your asks for of a new commissioner? Oh, great. Yeah, um, great question. Uh, so um, uh, I think we're going to hear a lot um, about overhauling the system um, and the thought that some new person who comes in is going to um, some some new individual is going to mean something um, uh, total transformation. Um, the kinds of uh, things that were probably going to be sold um, are um, uh, increased training, um, uh, recruitment drives. Uh, we've already spoken about some of the limitations of those. Um, I think we need to be the question we need to be asking when we're told, oh, this is this is something that's going to um, be overhauling the system um, is, is it actually just giving more more money um, uh, to the police and helping them to kind of uh, to um, legitimize themselves, helping them to kind of clean up their image? Because that was something that Cresta Dick was 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 very, very um, uh, um, assiduous on um, was uh, was was trying of trying to give the police a better image, um, and uh, the 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 kind of underlying reasons why the police are um, have this kind of culture of racism, misogyny, um, ableism, um, uh, and kind of dehumanizing attitudes towards the people they're tasked with policing. Um, yeah, those are not because of. Um, uh, bad individuals um and um they're uh um they're not and a kind of cultural sensitivity webinars are uh, kind of not gonna even scratch the surface of it um so uh so yeah i think we need to be we we need to be not giving them more more money to this institution that shows time and again how kind of corrupt and dangerous it is um uh but we can be looking at um uh, um, uh, de you know, I was talking before about some things that is really urgent to decriminalise. Um, uh, so we need to be decriminalising um, uh, sex work. Drugs policing is just a, a, a kind of um, charter for racist abuse. Um, and so uh, we need to be decriminalising that. And, and also, um, uh, yeah, um, rough, rough sleeping, um, various kind of connected, you know, crimes of crimes of poverty um and uh, and and also be looking really at the um at the criminalization of protest as well because any um movement that's seeking to kind of contest injustice to 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 change things to fight to uh, we, even um uh, vigils following the the murder of Sarah Everard we saw the way that they were kind of violently um, crack down on. There's people being sent to prison for um, terrifying terms now for um, uh, for um, standing up against the bills currently making their way through Parliament that would give police even more discretion and impunity, even more powers. Um, uh, and so we need to be kind of yeah uh, uh, demanding that these. Um, uh, if, if you want a more specific list of demands, um, I have actually written an, um, an article with um, my uh, colleague in criminology, um, uh, Tom Kemp, um, which is looking at um, uh, what defund the police might mean in a UK context. Um, and that's got some more specific, uh, that's got some more um, specific demands about the way that, for example, um, uh, mental health services need to be disentangled from the work of policing um, and immigration enforcement. Um, 